This is what you find at Ulta. This is what souping the bag means. This is what they do to their makeup. Um, nothing in here is saleable. You can see how the bag is dirty. You see how everything's broken in there. That's what they do to it, right there. Everything's destroyed. Um, just wanted to show you guys. That was just a fast show and tell. Nothing is saveable in this bag. I've already looked. We are back. And we got a plethora of stuff here. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. We went to many different places. We'll break it down. We'll show the clips when we got it. As long as I have a clip for it. There's a few things I did not get the clips. Um, phone had died. GoPro was also dead. No way of recording it. But we got, first off, staples i did show that there were also the containers in there as you'll see in this clip now well guys we are at staples you see back there there's some totes the lids are broke the lids are right here but the totes are still useful and there's this here for certificates that's not bad i'm gonna throw that to the ground because i'll probably break it then it's not broken now we gotta try to reach all the way back there for those though um, looks like there's at least one broken one back there, but they got those kind of back. They're legal, legal sized totes. Um, at least the top one is broken. Oh, unfortunately, I can see that now. But there's that back there. I'm going to shut this off so I can actually get up on the dumpster. But those containers are all broken. This is the only thing useful that I was able to grab out of that dumpster was this right here. Still wasn't bad, still useful, saved it from the dump. Then we go on to PetSmart. PetSmart will run that clip now. Look again, all that food they dump. Only good thing you can find usually in here is what I found right here. Some wet food, they don't dump fat. So we found a couple cases of wet dog food. A couple loose ones back there too. Well, he's getting it out of here because it's, it's not as unfair like jumping in like I've said in the past. All that dog food they waste though. They could have went to a shelter, could have went to a rescue. Just kills me that they waste it. Don't say you support rescues if you're going to do that. That's all I can say. You supposedly support rescues, support rescues 100%. Donate the food guys. Quit dumping it. But I'm going to get off this so I can get that. Okay, so we got two bags that were customer returns of dog food. I have to look those up make sure there isn't a recall of any sort on those. But we got those two bags of food, and we got all this wet food. This was all past the date, so that's why it was thrown away. I will double check for recalls. But we got two cases worth of this mixture here, which means there's 12 lamb and 12 chicken. Um, they're dog foods. My dogs will eat these as part of a treat with their food because they're big dogs. I don't have little dogs. And then there are six of the beef variety, five of the salmon variety, and one of the duck variety. These four right here, I broke as I threw them out of the dumpster because I was throwing them out of the dumpster to get them when I got out. So I'm still going to feed them, but I'm going to feed them today. That's why they're separated because I wanted to make sure that they stayed separated. I know they're safe because they were not broke when I got them. They broke as I threw them out. Then we move on to Big Lots. I did not get this clip recorded, but I did get a couple little things out of Big Lots. I actually dumped, jumped into the dumpster because the bag was ripping. I couldn't get it out without jumping in. But there's two of these pumpkin Halloween costumes for dogs. One flamingo Halloween costume for dogs. And then there's this stack here, six of the Pecan Delights. They expired back in November. They vary end of November. So they're about a month over. But they should still be fine. But there are six of those. So then we will move on to Aldi's. Now I will say, I'm going to give props. I'm going to give a big thumbs up to Aldi's. I did run into an employee the other day and talk to them. And they told me that they do donate a lot of food. But they can only hold on to food for so long before they have to toss it. I understand that. I didn't know if this was the case because I've never seen anyone there picking up food for donation. I've always only seen it in the dumpster. But 
when I pulled up to a different Aldi's than what I got this stuff from, there was a Food for America, I think it was Food for America, or Northwest Indiana Food Pantry, I can't remember which one it was, but there was actually their truck sitting in the loading dock getting loaded up with donations from Aldi's. So big thumbs up to Aldi's. I'm not as disappointed in you knowing that you are donating what you're able to as long as these organizations pick it up. Okay, guys, we are at our good friend Aldi's. I walked up as they are dumping this stuff into the dumpster, so it just came out of the freezers or the, the fridge. It is still cold. Drumsticks, salmon, that will come with me. There is a full case of water. Why not? Like I said, I basically pulled up as they were throwing stuff in. Um, one of the favorites of my kids, these cinnamon rolls. There's a whole bunch of those. Those were all in a case they threw out. There's a pizza back there. There's these laundry soaps. I can smell the laundry soaps. I have a feeling that at least one is leaking. Um, but I don't think all of them are. I didn't bring my grabber down with me. That one is broke. That case is broke. Oh, those ones they must have threw out because they were broken. So we don't want those. The pizza feels as though it probably wasn't in the fridge. Maybe it was something someone returned. We won't take our chances. Let's see about those laundry soaps. I can definitely smell the laundry soap. This one doesn't look like. It's definitely broke. Well, not broke, but with that cap being down like it is, that's probably why it's leaking. All these caps got smashed, apparently. They did leak out some, but we can still save them, I'm sure. Lots of soap. <laughs> See what else we see in here. Anything else worth grabbing? Well, that was the box that the soap came out of. These feel okay still. We'll put those into there. Well, one of them fell. Need to be a little bit taller. A little bit taller. I can't get it without my grabber or climbing. <clears throat> nice thing with the salmon too and stuff. We can give that to the dogs. Some of you may never have heard of it before with the raw food diet. It is a great diet for dogs. I used to feed my dogs 100% raw, not so much anymore, but it is a great diet. <sighs> it is also very cold out today. So most of the stuff should be fine. The salmon, or the shrimp's got a little bit of a smell to it because that one's a little bit outdated. Um, that's all I'm seeing right now. I'm gonna dig around in these bags a little bit. So I might find a little bit more, but that's all I see. But I did today at my Aldi's that I normally go to. I found these two flatbread pizzas. We love these things. They were still cold and good. There were three of the chicken legs. They were still cold and good. Like I said, I walked up as they were throwing this out. Um... Two of the fresh salmon. Again, cold and good. Walked up as they were throwing it out. So I'm not too worried about it. 
there was most of a full case of water, and then these three uh, laundry detergents that had gotten bent, so they were leaking out, but they're not leaking bad. I have to transfer them into something. I think I have an idea. Now we'll move on to Dollar Tree. Yes, so we are at Dollar Tree, guys. It's got these cans of pop right here. They are all just broke off their thing, so we're going to go ahead and grab them. It's so cold, some of them have erupted, sadly. And then you see two liters upon two liters upon two liters of the Fago Orange. We're not going to grab all of these, there's just too many to grab. Um, but we are going to grab some. So a ton of bread, as you can see, back there. We don't need any bread in my house, and I will not go through it. Before I end up throwing it away. I'm going to leave a little bit in there. Hopefully someone else comes by and takes some. Because I got enough here. Saw this score. I didn't get... No, I did. I did get everything for the most part. The only two things you didn't see me get was that oven mitt and dish towel. But there's nine of those Fago Pops. Another good feel-good story. I, I only grabbed some. I left about 10 more in the dumpster of those Fagos. Um, actually, as I was leaving, another guy pulled up that's a dumpster diver, jumped out, and he started loading those into his car. So they didn't go to the landfill, guys. Someone else did get the rest of those Fagos. So that was awesome. I did also grab... Four cans of the orange Fago, three cans of the cola Fago, and two cans of the lemon ice or lemon Fago. So those also were grabbed from the Dollar Tree. Now we'll move on to Michael's. We got we're at Michael's, guys, and one of the biggest things you tend to find a lot of at Michael's are frames with broken glass. This is a large, really pretty frame, though, that you could actually put a poster in. Or the other idea is you could let your kid paint this back area and just have a painting in a frame. Not bad ideas, right? I'm going to take this one because it's in really good shape other than the broken glass. It's a pretty frame. I'll figure something out. One thing from Michael's, you saw it. It's that big frame right there. I think what I'm going to have or have my son do because he loves to paint and he loves Jack the Skeleton. I think we're going to paint Jack the Skeleton on that, me and him, as a project together. I think that would be awesome and hang it up in his room because it would look really cool. Just paint on that back part so we don't even need the glass. But that was just a nice frame and it's huge. Um, that should be an awesome painting. We'll see how that turns out and we'll show that to you later if we do that. Final stop we had was Family Dollar. Family Dollar had thrown away this tower speaker normally $40 as you can see got to make sure it works but that was in the garbage along with some peanut butter filled pretzels 10 individual blueberry coffees a Halloween light up wristband Halloween nails and this little wire shelf back here that was kind of nice I don't know these stores are confused it's just passing the new year just past Christmas we're throwing Halloween stuff out. Not a single drop of Christmas today, but we found Halloween. They're confused. But all in all, not a bad day. If you liked what you saw, well, backtrack here. We'll backtrack here. First off, if you're interested in dumpster diving, make sure you check into your local laws. Make sure it's legal. If it's legal, go out there. There's treasures to be found. See what you can find. And if you like what you saw, hit that like, share, subscribe, and leave us a comment, and we will catch you on the next one.